Okay, so we're gonna have another gauntlet run here and I guess some people didn't get the memo. People, this is not the epic battle series that has been finished. I'm pretty sure I stated I'm done with that on this channel. Essentially what this is here is us just discussing rare characters that aren't discussed in fights. Keyword, discussion. That's it. There is no deciding factor here. It's left open. Here I just give you brief info on the characters, their feats, comparisons, then you decide who do you think is the better character and who would win in a fight. That's it. You want that old school format? Holler at Battle Arena. The guy who used to be on here with me is now there. Give him a shout. Now who have we got today? Baki Hanma. The star of the Baki the Grappler series. Now here's a kid that has had it rough. Real rough. Let's just call a spade a spade. His parents were complete asswipes. Yujira Hanma, probably the worst dad on earth. And his mom, what mom, showed him love five seconds before she got killed. He's had it rough, okay? As a kid, having to fight off gang members, mafia bosses, it has been tough. Had to survive in the jungle where killers are trying to kill him, super soldiers, taking on damn near every fighting style. Wrestlers, boxers, jujitsu experts, karate experts. I mean, the guy took out Retsu. Come on, Baki is no joke. His goal is to get stronger than his father, which is, uh, Kind of an impossible goal, but go for it, Baki. <laughs> Essentially, this guy is a powerhouse and eventually got the credit he deserved from his own father, labeling him the strongest boy on earth. Now, Baki is what now? 17, 18 currently? And his durability is insane. All you have to do is watch a fight like Baki versus a Red Sue or a Jack Hanma. Look at the punishment this guy takes. Hell, all the characters in Baki are crazy. It's almost like Mortal Kombat. You have a guy break his arm, then he pushes it back in. Some guy broke his neck, he just twisted his neck back around. Their durability is insane. And Baki is no exception. The guy's a tank. Speed, dodging bullets, breaking the sound barrier, keeping up with Yujiro Hanma. Okay, that last one. That says it all. Power? Come on, he can knock out giant apes, fought off a hundred men. As a kid, has taken on and defeated kung fu masters such as Retsu, defeated a steroid pumping Jack Hanma, beat the brakes of freaking Pickle. Come on, the guy is obviously strong. And much like Yujiro, he's a quick learner, can adapt very quickly. He's actually smart when it comes to fighting. You're not gonna keep using the same move on him and get away with it. Hell, he might even use that same move in his next fight. A quick learner has fought many different styles and has learned many different techniques, making Baki Hanma a dangerous threat. And damn near worthy of the name, the strongest boy on earth. So who is he up against? Who shall we give him? Let's do something real out there. The Final Fight Universe. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Okay, people, you know how this works. He has five stages to clear. Five characters from the Final Fight Universe. Can he clear them? Stage one, who should we give him? How about the seven foot 10, 440 pound Hugo? How does Baki stand up against this premier wrestler, right? <laughs> you are so smart. Stage two, you get past him, you run into Rolento. What can he do? Military martial arts, has his grenades, his weapons. Can Rolento do anything to stop Baki? Stage three, we're stepping it up now. Mike Hagar former mayor of Metro City. Dude is a straight up powerhouse and he's been in many wars. Can Mike Hager stop Baki? Stage four, the best and most powerful ninja in Street Fighter. Guy, tough fight right here, right? How does Baki stand up to Guy? Stage five, guess who? <laughs> Probably the most overhyped character in Street Fighter. 
Cody, a top level street fighter. We've heard the rumors. You ask three people about Cody, you'll get three different answers. Certain people will tell you he can beat Oni, not even Akuma, freaking Oni because of a quote. Next people will tell you he's as strong as Ryu. Then the next person will tell you, ah, he's just a normal fighter. So when it comes to Cody, people's opinions are all over the place. That's what makes it even more interesting. So what stage does he stop at people? One, two, three, four, five, or does he clear them all? Who can stop him?